Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and it is time to review the 13 Fishing Origin A. All right, now before we get started with the review on this reel, let me tell you a little bit about my review process. I am not one of those guys that pulls a brand new rod, reel, to tackle, whatever, lure out of a box and immediately does a review on it or even shows it off. I like to take them out and go fishing. I've had these reels for six months. Yes, they're my sponsor's reels. I'm sponsored, my other channel is sponsored by 13 Fishing, but I keep this channel separate from all contracts so I can give you my true and honest opinion on everything I use and I can go and I can use different brands. So expect that in the future. Expect different brands of rods and reels. For right now, I'm just gonna do the ones I have. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and talk about the Origin A from 13 Fishing. Um, this reel I've had for about six months. I have uh, beat the snot out of it. I actually have another one that I beat the snot out too. But uh, there's a lot of things I like about it and there's a few things I don't like about it. Let's first of all go over the specs of the reel. I went on the website, pulled up all the specs, printed them out on a piece of paper so I don't miss any, and we're gonna go through that. All right, so first of all, it's available in left hand and right hand models, both six six to one gear ratio and eight one to one gear ratio uh, reels. So that's awesome. I love the fact that they actually offer some left-handed reels at, a, at the $79.99 price point. Now it's got 18 pounds of drag, uh, which is more than enough. Man, I remember back in the day, your $200, $200 reels would have only eight to 12, pound to, uh, 12 pounds of drag. I was uh, totally impressed. I figured it'd be somewhere around 10 or 11 at this price point, but 18 pounds of drag uh, is plenty to get even the biggest fish out of the heaviest cover with a heavy action rod. It's got seven ball bearings. Um, and whenever you're talking about ball bearings, always take one of those ball bearings is always the anti-reverse bearing, um, which is what prevents your, your reel from, from spinning or your handle from spinning backwards when you stop to set the hook. It really does help increase the amount of hookup ratio. Way back in the day, they didn't have an anti-reverse bearing and you'd have a, uh, there'd always be an eighth of a turn or a sixteenth of a turn where your handle would go backwards. But that's always the anti-reverse bearing. Uh, and the rest of them, the other six, are in some really good key locations. So you really, the more ball bearings after about five, uh, the more ball bearings you get, it just makes your reel heavier. It does make it a little smoother, but it usually makes it smoother just for the cranking. For a good working reel, five is about all you need plus the bear, uh, plus the uh, and or reverse bearing. So this one has six to one. Now the frame itself is a is a lightweight composite frame, so it's not aluminum, it's not metal, it's just a composite material, so it's not totally plastic. Um, it feels a, a it feels really really um, strong. It doesn't feel like uh, it's it's like over, I don't know how you would call it. It doesn't feel like it has too much plastic, at least the frame doesn't. Now the line guide itself is an oval shaped line guide. I really like that in a reel. Um, you just get longer casts and it also spools up a lot more smoother uh, with an oval over a round line guide. So I always look for that in a reel uh, as to my own personal preference. Uh, the round ones work, but I like the oval ones a whole lot better. The handle itself is aluminum. Uh, the, the grips are, are smaller than what I'm used to with a 13 fishing reel, but uh, I guess what are they, they call them soft uh, touch knobs, so it's real soft rubber, really ergonomic, really comfortable in the hand. Um, I prefer bigger, beefier uh, handles. I always have, even way back when I used uh, Abu Garcia Revos, I would put real grips on them to make the, the, uh, the grips bigger. These are slightly larger than those old style grips, and they really do feel good and they're comfortable in the hand. Me personally, I like them fatter. Just me. <laughs> All right, so now the question's gonna come, come up is, are these saltwater rated? No, they're not saltwater rated. They are, uh, they're just your standard reels. So don't go taking them out in saltwater and expect them to work uh, over a long period of time. Uh, they're gonna get, the bearing's gonna get corroded and uh, you're gonna have issues. All right, so the braking system is a six pin centrifugal brake braking system. And you, you access that on the side plate by simply by flipping this little switch in the back. Let's see if I can get it to focus and I'll show you the switch. See that switch right there? You just basically pull it down. Now, um, from talking to a lot of people uh, in the kayak world, there's a couple of brands of rod holders out there that will catch that, uh, catch that little switch and pop it open. Not easy, but it does do that and you have a tendency to lose that side plate 
if you don't pay attention to that um, to that switch. But like I said, there's only a couple of brands of uh, of rod holders that do that, and and uh, so I don't worry too much about it. I've been kayak fishing with these things and all my other 13 reels, and I have not had a problem with the uh, with the Yag Attack rod tubes that I use. But anyway, to open it up to access it, you just flip that switch. It's got a like I said, it's got a six pin centrifugal braking system, and to adjust those, you simply and you don't have to take it out of the reel to do this, but you simply rotate this ring and it goes zero to six. Zero being totally free spool, six being uh, the brakes are all the way out. I usually start at three. And if I'm using something like a frog with braided line, I'll drop it down to one or zero or whatever. So I usually start at, I think that's three, at three. So um, real easy to adjust. Uh, I pretty much set it and forget it from most things. Uh, it's almost always set on three. Real easy to drop back in, little wiggle, cap down, there it is. All right, so now I'm gonna talk about what I like and what I don't like about this reel. 100% my opinion. I could give a crap what people tell me to say about this reel. This is what I think. $79.99, does it feel like a $79.99 reel? Yes. Um, I think it's a great deal on a reel. I don't think it's it feels like a $100 reel. I think it feels like a $79, $80, $85, maybe a $90 reel. Um, is it going to last you a long time? I think so. As long as you take care of it, as long as you clean it, uh, give it regular cleanings. If you fish it as much as I do, which is you know, 20, 15, 20 days a month, then you might want to clean it every six months. But if you're just a re weekend warrior and you just fish it as much as you can, uh, then once a year, pull it out, get it clean, send it to a real guy, let him clean it, and it will last you for a long time. Now, one of my first opinions on this reel when I first got it out of the box was it really didn't feel like a 13 fishing reel. And so I, I kind of kept that in the back of my head while I was using it and while I was, I was just trying to figure out why it didn't feel like a 13 reel that I'm used to. And that's, I think it just has to do with the knobs. Uh, the knobs are not those fat knobs from 13. Uh, it's not a concept reel. The concept reels are, you know, $180, $200. So it, it's definitely not that kind of a reel. If you're a teenager and you have a, a minimum wage job, if you're wanting to buy a bunch of different setups and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, I really think that this one will last you a long time. I think this is a good reel for that. A lot of reels that are in this price point, the 60, 70, 80 dollar uh, reel. The cast control knob is typically really, really difficult to turn. This one is smooth as butter. It's got these great little grooves in it. Let's see if I can get it to focus off of my face and onto the reel. There we go. It's got these good little grooves in it that you're able to grab a hold and rotate it real quickly, and it's not too difficult to turn. So you can make those micro adjustments that you need to. It's not a clicking cast control knob, uh, but it does work really great. The, uh, the drag I kind of worried about, it almost looked like it was plastic, but when I, uh, when I investigated a little bit closer, it's more of a composite material, so it's really, really strong. Uh, I was a little worried about that. Really easy to grab a hold of. You can see that it's swept a little bit, and so you know uh, while you're fighting a fish which direction to turn it real fast, and it's easy to grab a hold of and tighten that drag down when you need to. So like I already said, the, the grips themselves, I really... Uh, I just like them fatter. You can see they get pretty dirty, but that that's easy to clean. Just some rubbing alcohol just basically takes the grease from your fingers off is what that is. Um, doesn't bother me much. You know, I don't I don't really care about the look of a reel. And like I, I've always said about reels is I didn't buy a supermodel. I bought a fishing reel. So I beat the snot out of them. I, they're, they're tools. So it's, it's really not a big deal that they get dirty. But if you want to clean them real simple, rubbing alcohol takes them off. So my opinion on this reel, I really think it's a good reel. I think it's really good for $79.99. It, it feels like it's one, It's a perfect bait, bait caster to learn with. It's a perfect bait caster if you're a weekend angler, if you're a teenager, to just go beat the crap out of and not worry about. Um, and if you take care of it, if you have regular cleanings, if you take care of it, I really think it'll last you a long time. Now, I'm going to put a link down in the description to where you can buy this on Tackle Warehouse. All right, so the best part about this review is I'm going to give one of these suckers away. You're going to get an Origin A reel in whatever gear ratio you want, left or right-handed. Uh, all you have to do is you have to make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to my other channel, just a regular Flute Master channel. And I'll leave the links to that down in the description. And then leave a comment. What do you want me to review next? 
what do you like about my reviews? What don't you like about my reviews? Um, and what do you like? What would you like to see different? It doesn't matter. Just leave a comment down in the description. And on Friday, I'm gonna try to do a live video to pick the the winner. If I don't do it live, I'll just do it and and let you know who won and uh, and maybe announce it on the following Friday's live video. I never know what I'm doing on Friday nights, so I can't guarantee I'm gonna do a live video, but I'm going to try. So good luck. Leave us something down in the description, subscribe to both my channels, and like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to, to my videos. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.